We've gathered 160 ounces of styrofoam and we're going to dissolve it in acetone in order to reduce its volume so it can fit in the beaker for pyrolyzation. Now we're going to bring the styrofoam outside in order to let the residual acetone evaporate. One hour later and most of the acetone has evaporated. Now we're going to pour the styrofoam into a glass flask. Next we're going to boil the styrofoam in order to remove any residual acetone that didn't get removed during evaporation. Now we're going to start the pyrolyzation process. Using a watt meter we're going to measure how much energy this takes and if it's efficient or not. One hour later and the pyrolyzation process has completely started. Seven hours, 2.3 kilowatt hours later, the pyrolyzation process has been completed. The next day we found that the condensate is 180 milliliters in volume and approximately 70% that of water in density. Now we're going to test the flammability of this substance and... Yes, it burns.